This young man is a bit perverted. He has the fetish of smelling other people's chairs, and the person sitting in the chair is his teacher. In the classroom, the students looked at the teacher with fascination. The teacher on the podium showed a charming expression. She took off her glasses shyly. It was as if they had a connection. Is there a secret between them? The teacher's name was Charlotte. At 37 years old, she was in her prime. The teacher's husband is Arthur. He is a pantyhose salesman. He travels a lot. Whenever he came back from a business trip, he was always alone, drinking or listening to music. He didn't care about Charlotte, who was lonely and alone. Charlotte, who had been neglected for a long time. The pent-up emotions inside had no outlet. Perhaps it was a coincidence. A 15-year-old student, Mark, enters her life. Mark is in the midst of his hormonal adolescence. He was a mischief maker in the classroom. He disrupts the class with his playfulness. Charlotte couldn't stand Mark's behavior, told him to stay alone after school. She wanted to give him a lecture. She asked Mark to hand over the note he had passed during class. Charlotte was mortified by the contents of the note. All it said was that men were having sex with women. Charlotte did not continue the lecture. As a punishment, Mark had to clean up the classroom for a week. As an adolescent, Mark stood behind Charlotte. Looking at Charlotte's charming neck and white skin, a deer ran wild in his young heart. He took the opportunity to go to the podium. He peeked up Charlotte's skirt. In the morning he ran down to Charlotte's house again. He gazed at Charlotte in her nightgown. He even sniffed the chair Charlotte was sitting on. Slowly, Mark's behavior became more and more crazy. On the way to study hall, Mark dared to make a pass at Charlotte. And Charlotte did not refuse him at all. On the contrary. She was very active in meeting him. In the following days, every few days they would. They were intimate in study rooms and deserted corridors. Gradually, they became more and more daring. In order to see Charlotte, Mark would often sneak into Charlotte's house because his husband Arthur was often away on business. But on this day, Arthur's husband changed his schedule because of work. Mark, who had just finished playing poker, was relaxing with a glass of wine. The sound of the door opening scared him into getting up. He hurriedly gathered his clothes and hid in the bathroom. Just as he was about to make a silent escape from the house, Arthur turned around and saw Mark. But Arthur didn't think anything of it. He simply thought, Mark was just a student who came to the house for tutoring. This also set the stage for Mark's next arrival in the open. Teacher and the student. This began an indescribable story. They even crazy in Arthur drunken intimacy. Such recklessness will eventually have to be turned down one day. Arthur found out about Charlotte and Mark. But to his surprise, Arthur wasn't angry. Nor did he hold a grudge against Mark. Instead, he took him to enjoy classical music together, play soccer together, talking like adult friends. This made Mark blame himself. He regretted what he had done. He shouldn't have had this relationship with Charlotte. Mark was determined to break off the relationship with Charlotte, to put an end to his ridiculous behavior. Mark had found the girl who used to like him. Mark pursues her like crazy. The girl is happy to accept, but the beauty is always so short-lived. Mark was the one Charlotte had found so easily. She won't let him go so easily. In order to keep Mark, she often took the opportunity to teach. She would let Mark come up to the podium and approach her, and then lifted his skirt to tease him. But Mark ignored this. Mark finally couldn't stand Charlotte's frequent harassment. He kicked the podium over in an emotional outburst. This action, Charlotte's mind was changed. Her revenge plan begins. Mark, a 15-year-old student, after abandoning his 37-year-old female teacher Charlotte, the teacher becomes angry and manic. She is determined to get revenge. Charlotte comes to the principal's office to tell Mark off, stating that Mark was constantly late, failed a test for skipping school, disrespected the teacher, etc. She wanted to give Mark a repeat grade. She wanted to keep him out of her class in order to punish the boy who abandoned her. After hearing this, Mark came to Charlotte's husband Arthur for help, hoping that Arthur would testify on his behalf because he knew the truth. He knew what Mark's tardiness and absenteeism were all about. Arthur's hesitant and confused state made Mark angry. He slammed the door and left. A week later came the graduation ceremony. Charlotte was on stage giving her speech. Mark aggressively walks up to her. As the crowd watched, Mark walks into Charlotte. He was about to pull down his crotch zipper, but stops halfway down. Then he turned around and walked away. In full view of everyone, Charlotte is desperate and desperate for tears. In his own way, Mark, in front of everyone, he returned what he thought was humiliation to Charlotte. After leaving the ceremony, Mark went to the classroom, wrapped up all the dictionaries, and left alone. He escaped from all this chaos. 
from the ugliness and darkness of the human heart to embrace a new life and growth. This is the end of the film.